Hello, beautiful people. How are you today? I am Chastity Wright, CEO and founder of nonprofit organization, Beautiful People Rise Up. And I am so excited to be here with you this morning, along with Dr. Sylvester T. Staten. Dr. Staten, how are you today? I'm doing great, Chastity. How are you? I'm good. Good. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood, as they say. Exactly. We're, we're excited. We have a great word for you today, everybody. So once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for joining us on the Salt and Light Bible Study. Our word today uh, is choices and paths. That is something that every person on this earth has experienced, making choices and going down different paths in life. Would you agree, Dr. Satan? Yes, yes. Choices are necessary so that you can select the path which you want to approach as well as reach your destination. So that is very, very uh, effective as we continue to build and achieve our goals and destiny. Yes, absolutely. So before we get started, what I would like to do is invite you to like and follow our page at BP Rise Up. That is at B-P-R-I-S-E-U-P for Beautiful People Rise Up. And also share our event with your family and friends. This is something that's going to bless them and help them along their journey. And if you get one nugget, if you get one good word that can transform your life, then, then we did our job. You know, our goal is to share information. We all have different experiences, which allows us to have different types of information. And sometimes we can just learn from other people. We don't have to always go through everything uh, to learn in this life. I mean, I've learned so much from observing people. You know, what about you, Dr. Staten? Yes, I think my whole life has been um, where I've learned to uh, be impressed, encouraged by people, mm -hmm. and it has been a tremendous impact on me. So I, I strongly suggest that people don't shun asking for help, but welcome it and then it will become so much easier on each and every one of us. Awesome, awesome. So what I want to do is give a quick history about Beautiful People Rise Up, Inc. Some of you may say, well, she's the CEO and founder of Beautiful People Rise Up, Inc. What is that? Um, so Beautiful People Rise Up, Inc. is a nonprofit organization. Um, it was inspired by the new single, uh, Beautiful People, which is uh, by myself, Chastity, and it's currently on available on digital music platforms. So you can go to amazon.com, type in Chastity Beautiful People. You'll see a lady in a yellow dress with a hat, a black hat on. That would be me. Uh, you can go to iTunes, Spotify, those different music um, platforms and, and download the song digitally. And if you would like to learn more about me and, and what I do as far as music, you can go to www.creator.com and that's C-H-R-E-A-T-O-R.com. Once again, www.creator.com to check out uh, myself and what we're doing with Creator Entertainment. Um, now, although Beautiful People Rise Up Inc. is a new nonprofit organization, our team has worked for over 40 years combined serving others using our gifts, talents, and abilities, and personal resources to impact individuals, communities, and corporate businesses. Our mission is simply to create innovative, positive content and experiences through our services, productions, events, entertainment, and media that elevates and motivates people to become productive, access to their local, national, and global communities. So that is our mission. Our vision is to create a beautiful world where diverse people rise up together and share their unique gifts, talents, and influence to make the world a better place. Our motto is we honor humanity. Our tagline is aim higher, A-I-M higher. That's action, inspiration, motivation higher. When you have action and, you, and you're inspired and you're motivated, you're going to go higher because you're pushing yourself to the next level. You're not uh, accepting the status quo or looking at, hey, I came from this environment or I don't have this money or I don't have all of these different things. If you have a desire within yourself and you believe in yourself, you can do whatever you want to do. I tell you, God will send the people along the path, but you cannot be afraid 
to walk down the path. Let me say that again. You cannot be afraid to walk down the path, whether you go alone or not. If you believe enough, you will make it happen because you will have, you will begin to feel like you have to do something. And that's the action. Things happen when we act. You can think about it all you want. Don't worry about just thinking about it. If you're going to think about it, that thought can be in your head for 20 years. But the moment you get that thought out of your mind and you start acting upon it and moving upon it, then things change in your life. I am a living witness. Everything that you're seeing right now is something that was in my mind. Sometimes people, they didn't believe and they're like, oh man, what the? You know, they're giving you that. You know, they're like, Chess, you still talking about this thing? It's short. I am. And I'm doing it. Everything that I said that I'm doing it, even if I had to do it independently, you know, it comes to a point where you have to decide if nobody supported me, am I willing to work extra hours or start my own gig or, or put my own money into it? That's, that's where the rubber meets the road. Are you willing to invest your entire self, your time, uh, your money, your resources, Stop buying clothes. Stop, stop, you know, going out to eat as much. Stop doing all this extra entertainment, all these different entertainment things that's taking your money instead of putting it into your vision. You know, getting your LLC started, getting your INC started. What is it that you're called to do that you are not releasing to the world? So that's what that's one of the things we're going to going to talk to. Now, that was just a side note. You know, that wasn't a part of what we were going to be talking about today, but I just felt led to say that to somebody. So before we get started, thank you to all the people who support us in prayer and also financially through donations. Because we are a nonprofit organization, we're able to do more with more money, the more money that we receive. You know, some things you can do and you can do it with the resources that you have. You know, you make a way. You know, you have three crayons. You have a yellow, a blue, and a red. And you say, well, man, this is all I have. But, hey, I need green. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that blue and that yellow together and make the green. Or I'm, I'm going to take the red um, and the yellow and make orange. You know, I'm going to take the blue and the, uh, and the red and I'm going to make purple. So we, we've done that a lot. But still, uh, donations do help our organization. And if you would like to donate to Beautiful People Rise Up Inc., or even just learn about it, you know, hey, you may not, you may have just heard of it today uh, through myself uh, on this show. Check us out, read about us, and, and see what we're doing to help to transform the community. And um, if you would like to donate, you know, there's a donate button, and it says actually donate now button on our homepage. And um, give um, whatever your heart desires to give. And we thank you in advance for your donations. So choices and paths, Dr. Staten. Yes. yes. Life is all about learning, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And the one thing that we have to quickly come to terms with because time is of the essence and time is moving on. You can't go back and change time, but you can always change ourselves. So when it comes to path and it comes to choices, we want to always strive for the better. We don't want to be complacent. And like you said, Chastity, it's not a matter of waiting, but it's a matter of making the right decisions. And when you make those decisions, you can certainly move forward. Because I like it in our agenda, when we can examine ourselves, and I always tell my clients the people that uh, I have that, I, and I've had them now for some time. You have to have accountability. Accountability is your tracker. When you decide what choices and what the path you're going to take, write them down. And that way, on a weekly basis, you can go back and assess your accomplishment. It will give you the benefit and the ability to say, I didn't put as much emphasis on this particular subject. And guess what? Before it's too late and you've gone down the path and it's still void, you'll be able to make the corrections right then and on the spot. That becomes a habit, but you have to start because everything we do is learning. When, like you said, when you're around people, 
that have accomplished, those are the ones that's going to encourage you. They are open to help you. That's what real Christians do. So you ask yourself in your self-assessment, what happened to my life? What you're basically saying is, have I achieved? And if it hasn't, then you can make those corrections now and not, not too late. And what am I here uh, in this space? Why am I here in this space? You Don't be afraid to examine yourself and to see what your achievements are. And once you do that, you put in the program within you with the ability to succeed, because if you can identify something, you can change it. It's what you don't change will be your downfall. That's why it's so good to know about choices, because everybody will make them, and that will design or direct your path. So if it's not successful, then don't wait to make the change. Do it right now. And that's what we're sharing this morning and how you can be more effective. Love my love loving yourself, happy with life and the choices that you've made. Those are the successes that you'll get. I have achieved them. Chastity has achieved them. We talk about them sometimes on a daily basis because it's a it's a real benefit feeling when you can see where you've grown and accomplished the things that you want then you're moving in the right direction. So the work is forever moving forward, but you want to certainly achieve in those paths that you said that you want to accomplish. Yes, I agree with that. And you owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself, not to anyone else, to do what God has called you to do. You're the one that knows innately who you are. You know, you know, when you talk to people, you're trying to express or you are expressing who you are. But deep down inside, you know the answer. A lot of times we look outside for answers. Now, we can be inspired and sometimes we don't know some of the things that we are great at. Sometimes people have to point that out to us and that's fine, too. But the, the thing that I challenge everyone to do is to have a moment of truth. Amen. And self-assess because I had to do that. You know, you know, I went into corporate America. I went to college. I got the degrees. And that's great. I met a lot of awesome people. It allows you to, you know, stay focused, to you know, to complete a task, to be committed, to learn and explore um, from other people. But at the root of who you are, you have to return to that root if you stray away. Right. right? Right. Because, you know, I've always been, been a creative person. No matter what, I can go work for any company, organization doing sales. And I've been told, hey, you're great at sales. I've made a lot of money in sales, but I don't necessarily like sales. I like talking to people. So it kind of, it kind of works together, but you end up making this money. And then you get to the point where, okay, you, you're making money. You don't want to go through life and choose paths that you're just making money, but there's no fulfillment, right? Right. You have to make money. Of course, this world is all about money, but are you doing what you love to do? Amen. You know, you could, you could be uh, working in a retail um, department store. And I don't know, I, this just came to my mind as an example. And you're working there, you're a manager, you're doing all these different things, but your desire may have been to be a nurse you know, or to do something else. So you may be great in science, but people don't really know that side of you. You know, don't be afraid to show who you really are. And if you're not on that path, then some kind of way you have to get back on the path. Now we know when we go, we're riding on the freeway or we're going down the street and we think think we're going a certain way and it says detour. Well, you may have to detour a little bit. You may not be able to just jump onto that path because now you have to go down another road to go to another road to go back around and then finally get back on the road that you so desire to be on. And sometimes it's not easy. You know, sometimes it's hard, but do you believe in yourself enough to do it? That's the question. You know, you can have people cheering you on, but you need to have that cheerleader within Right. To say, I can do this. 
And if, if you feel weak at any moment, then that's when you need to reach to the most high in prayer, in that secret place and ask God, I know that you whispered this into me. I know that you gave this to me. Now I want to deliver the gift that you bestowed upon me because we all, if you don't know, your gift is not for you. Your gift is for you to share with the world, to give to the world, to help people to elevate in their, their mind, in their being, in their soul. Would you agree, Dr. Staten? Oh, wholeheartedly. I mean, you know, that's what this program is all about, that people can understand where the help come from. And there's no better help than the creator. He has put within you and all of us the attributes to succeed. However, you must be taught you it's learning how to perfect the gift. If you, like you said, if you are in an environment where you're not progressing and you can tell when you are progressing because you don't feel that enthusiasm that gives you the ability to say, my God, my God, look at what you have done. Those are the self-motivations that come within you. No one can do that except you. So what in order to achieve that, that's what we are helping them, helping you to understand this morning. Are you happy? And the question is, do you really have peace from within? Or do you look for someone else to give you the peace? You have to depend on yourself. It's in you. But once you tap into that resource, it is because you made the right choice. When you make the right choice, the path awaits you. You see the difference? So therefore, in order to achieve these, you have to go back to your foundation and say, God, what have you given me that I can be a benefit to myself and my family? And he will tell you. Those are the things that we need. Those are the things that we are inspiring everyone. But don't wait till it's too late. The pandemic is on the is winding down and a new beginning has begun. Are you going to be a part of the one that succeeds? Or will you repeat the same thing that we had before the pandemic? Everybody has a new beginning with benefit. So let's get on board. Let's move forward. Listen to these programs that God has inspired us to give to you. And we will help you. And this is what we're doing because when we grow, we go, we grow together. United, we will grow together. And this is what this is all about. So I do agree. Awesome, awesome. So this moment of truth, like that I had with myself, I'm challenging other people to have a moment of truth if you're not for sure of uh, you know, your choices or you're not happy with your choices, or even if you're excited about your choices, make sure, hey, this is I'm doing the right thing, you know, the confidence, the reassurance. So I have a little assessment. And so I'm gonna ask these questions to you. And if you like to write them down, you can write them down or you know, you can meditate on them. And so I just want to know, have you ever asked yourself, what happened to my life? Or why am I here in this space? Have you ever said, I never imagined I would be going through this mess. <laughs> it's like, I can't believe it. This foolishness, this is crazy. I did not sign up for this. Have you ever said that? I did not sign up for this. I've been there. I, I, I've say, I say it all the time. Like, what in the world is, is going on? Yeah. Um, or have you said, I wish I had chosen this instead of that? Yeah. Or... I wish I never met that person. <laughs> I wish I never met them. I'm telling you, it just changed that one choice. Yes, that right. one choice took your life so way. I mean, it took it to, to Pluto. You like, I, I, I'm trying to get back to Earth, you know, <laughs> because people can get your, you know, you get the wrong person in your life, in your space, and when you, you share who you are with the wrong person. Oh my goodness, you already know. I don't even have to go into detail, so we'll just stick with that. Have you ever said, I wish I ever met that person? <laughs> you know, or have you ever affirmed, I love my life. I am happy with my life and the choices that I've made. Right. 
or I am so happy and feel so blessed that this person is in my life and that I am having this experience. Right. See, it, 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 it's, always, it's not always the negative. You have to decide, you know, what you're going to do. Now, unforeseen occurrences do happen. And right. sometimes you can choose a path and you didn't expect those things. Right. When those the unexpected things happen, that's an opportunity for you to learn. Sometimes it's just challenging your character or just to see what you would do in that situation. You right. know, it's not something that's going to lead you um, to death. You know, it's just like you just have to get through this because a lot of times we can look at people and see something we don't like in people. But sometimes that's the same thing that's inside of you. And why you don't like them is because <laughs> you don't really like yourself. That's or right. it's the same thing. That's so right. I do have five questions for you to consider. What do you truly believe? How has your beliefs molded your life? Are you happy? Do you have peace? Are you living your best life right now? Now, whether you your answer is yes, or no, we have a word for you. You create your life by your choices and paths that you take and don't take. So sometimes we don't take the risk. Sometimes we don't take the chance. I've had opportunities where I got so close to something and God opened the door and I turned the other way. And I and I used to live in regret from you know just certain things, but I said, you know what? No, that's the choice that you made, and this is the outcome from that choice and just live with it. But you know, next time right. when you have an opportunity like this or that, then to move forward on it. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that I want to say is thoughts and meditation manifest into choices, Great. which directs our actions. Your choices and actions impact your life and your experiences. Now, it is your option to choose life. And mm -hmm. in the Bible, in Deuteronomy 30, um, 15 through 16, it talks about choosing life and multiplying. Right. And the word says, see, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. Mm -hmm. And that I command you today to mm -hmm. love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments, the statutes and his judgments that you may live and multiply. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you go to possess. Wow. Powerful. Beyond imagination, powerful. That means your destiny is within you, but it takes obedience. It takes dedication. It takes loyalty. Those behaviors, however, must be learned. This is the one that gets people to give up too easily because your expectation is based on your imagination. It doesn't work like that. God wants faithfulness, because there's one thing about faithfulness, it will endure when you don't see what the outcome's going to be. And that's when you will appreciate what you've earned. It, you, you, you don't want it to where it's just drop down that like some people may expect or they may have said because everybody talks differently. But in order to benefit from the path that supports the choices, you have to understand how it must be applied. Because he said it that you just read. He said, I have given you life, good. I've given it to you. I made you. And because he gives us free will, death and evil, which choice are you going to make? It's either going to be the right choice. It's going to be the wrong one. And these are the benefactors for choosing correctly. That must be learned. This program is a benefit to get your attention to rethink because it's not too late to change. You can change, but you need help. So God institutes programs like this to get our imagination to be in the lining with his word. And when you are following his word and you are understanding and applying his word, then, Mark, listen to the word, then you get the benefit, not before, because it's about earning. And when you earn something, whatever it is, like you said, that's your job or relationship, 
home, cars. When you earn something, then comes respect with home. Beautiful. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, that's the word. And, and, and just in case you want to write it down and read the whole passage, because the whole passage is very strong. It, it's some other um, things that that passage says. So Deuteronomy 30, 15 through 20 is talking about the benefits of choosing life and how you get to multiply when right. you choose life. Um, Roy T. Bennett said an amazing quote, um, and he said, beliefs are choices. First, you choose your beliefs, then your beliefs affect your choices. So if you decide that you want to align with the word of God, do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. And, and I, I encourage you to pray about it. You yeah. know, I'm not going to lead anybody down the wrong path. And it's to your benefit. And you have to feel it in your spirit and your soul. God is within all of us. And one thing that I will say, you may not know me, you may not ever meet me, but you know in your spirit when someone is telling the truth, you know it. You know it. And you know when they're telling some <laughs> telling some lies, some mess, you're like, oh, here we go. Yeah. This person just can't stop lying. They just gotta always take it to another level. Yeah. You know when some, somebody is being sincere. Yeah. And that is one thing. And I and I just had a conversation with Dr. Staten is, you know, I never want to lead anybody down the wrong path. I would not say anything before I try to hurt you or or, or, or put you in the line of fire. So um, your beliefs and choices are very important to determining your path. Amen. If you can look at your life and it's not where you want it to be or you've been making some ill choices and you have had some ill results and you don't like it mm -hmm. and you, you even cringe by the mess that you're in and you want to get out. You can break the chains. Yeah. Freedom is available. Yeah. Transformation of your mind is what's going to help you. I encourage you to read books, motivational books. Read the word of God. Start in Proverbs. Just start reading Proverbs. I guarantee you will start being transformed. You say, hey, this Bible is it, just too much. I, I fall asleep. <laughs> you know, you start reading it. You're like, how come every time to read this Bible, I'm 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 getting shut down. I think I think that's like a setup or something. I, I don't know what that is, but I'm sure I'm not the only person. You know, you're trying to read and you're trying to focus, and as soon as you start, your head start. You know, you're yeah. moving. But yeah. I just encourage you to read Proverbs, read Psalm, start somewhere. Just start, and mm -hmm. you'll and you'll get revelations, and they'll help you to develop who you are as a person. There are concordances. If you are going through something right now and you don't really have the answer, the internet has a lot of good information along with bad information. Yeah. So you have to be able to, to decipher between the two. But you can type in, you know, like if you're depressed or you have anxiety or you you don't you you're not able to commit easily. You know, like you know you you you're dealing with um, pain and hurt and you know, unforgiveness, all these different things. You can actually type in that word and just find scriptures on yeah. healing in those areas. I don't know everybody's story, but one thing that I do know is that if you're on earth right now, you were chosen to be here and you have a divine purpose, whether you're tapping into it or not. Great. So my, my job, or I'm stopping by just to tell you to choose life, whatever that is for you, choose life. Now, we have run out of time and we have so much more to share with you. So I would like to personally, along with Dr. Staten, invite you back next Saturday at 9.30 a.m. We've never done it back to back, um, but instead of making you wait a whole month, because normally we do these shows once a month, but we do have viewers who enjoy what we're doing and they're being blessed by this word. So mark it on your calendars for next Saturday right. to join us, which is May 22nd, same time, same place. Right. And then just in case you're watching it through um, a page or like a group, um, you can find it at BP Rise Up. Um, and with, that is actually our page on Facebook, Beautiful People Rise Up. So, you know, feel free to join us. If you like this message, feel free to share it. I will uh, repost it. 
um, on uh, Facebook uh, for you to enjoy. And once again, I want to thank you, Dr. Staten, uh, for standing by my side in the virtual world <laughs> uh, to do uh, this show, the Salt and Light Bible Study, because we are the salt. We are the light of, of the earth. People, people see the power and love of Christ in God through us. You know, a lot of times people, you know, maybe they don't believe because maybe some of the people who they met who claim to be of God or of Christ maybe did some really evil things to them or hurt them or said those things. Don't judge the love of God by a person Amen. because people make mistakes. Right. People err all the time. And and maybe they they do have a love of God. But maybe they just fell short in that moment. So don't allow, because I've, I've done that. And the only reason why I'm saying this, and I've just been led to say this, because I've been in an environment where, um, you know, was disrespected by people uh, who may have been in leadership or are supposed to be uh, called by God. You know, so you have to look at their character. I don't care if they have the title of bishop, apostle, this or that. Look at the character of the person. Amen. Don't go by titles. Right. You know, look at the person, who they are, you know, and then if you can receive from them, receive from them. And if, if, if not, it's some people that I'm not receiving from. I don't care what their title is because right. I, I saw some other stuff. I'm not judging them, but you got to decide what your path is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, I did invite her people earlier. I don't know what time you came in on the show, but. This show is sponsored by Beautiful People Rise Up, Inc., a nonprofit organization, and 501c3. Um, you can actually um, donate to this organization if you like what we did um, on the show today. Feel free um, to donate to us. If you go to beautifulpeopleriseup.org, on our homepage, there's a Donate Now button. We don't ask for any specific amount. What we ask is if you are led to give, give. If you're only led to pray for us, pray for us, because we're going to make it down the path because we're doing what we're supposed to do. Now, I also want to inv invite you to follow us on social media, meaning Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at the same tag at BP Rise Up. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Beautiful People Rise Up. And make sure if you know someone that could be blessed by this message, please share it with them. And I do want to close out with a scripture that we always close out with is Matthew 5, 14 and to 16. Write that down, meditate on it, go back and read it yourself. But I want you to always remember this. You are the light of the world. Yeah. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. No. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Oh, yeah. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works yeah. and glorify your Father in heaven. Thank, Thank you so much Thank for you. joining the Salt and Light Bible Study. Dr. Staten, did you want to say anything to, um, to our audience before we go? Just a closure to say that the program... It's such a blessing to so many people. And we are inspired to share this with you so that you can become what God has made you to be. Thank you, Chastity. Amen. Thank you so much. And we will see you next Saturday, May 22nd at 9.30 a.m. Facebook Live at BP Rise Up. Have a beautiful weekend. <laughs>